गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू संस्कार Sanskarotsav for our founders day is all that and more. It is the coming together of the teacher community and the student community to celebrate the essence of the Sanskar Valley School. It is the elegant dances, the music, the absorbing dramas, stories told and untold, a spectacular array of innovation and creativity, and the proud and smiling faces of the achievers. It is all that our school stands for. Each year, the Founders' Day and the month preceding it is one of excitement and anticipation. Starting with the auditions, the practices, and stay-backs, the whole school is a buzz with activities all around. One can hear the music practice going on in the mall, the sound of ghungroos coming from the dance room. There are dialogues of the English play overlapping the ones of the Hindi play, and of course, the digging and hammering as the stalls are being set up for the exhibition display. It is madness all around, and don't we love it? And that is what each one of us is missing today. Nevertheless, we have tried to put together a virtual Founders Day celebration with all the elements of Sanskar Utsav: the cultural presentation, the awards, and the exhibition, by putting together the snippets of these events from the years gone by. It has been a practice and a tradition in our country to commence any task with the lighting of the special lamp. The light of knowledge, so lit, enables us to reach greater heights and achieve success in all our endeavors. We now invite our principal, Mrs. Sheila Raku, for the lighting of the lamp, followed by the school song.
Ganesh is the Lord of all beginnings and Vandana means invoking the blessings in the form of salutations. We now present to you the Ganesh Vandana by the young students of Sopan. Vakratund Mahakaya Surya Koti Samaprabha Nirvighnam Kurume Deva Sarvakaryeshu Sarvada संतति संपति सब ही भरपूर पावे ऐसे तुम महाराज मुको अति भावे गोसावी नंदन निशिदिन गुण गावे That was a wonderful performance by the young students of Sopan. This presentation was planned virtually and was executed keeping all the social distancing norms in mind. We are honored to have had distinguished people from the world of films, politics, journalism, education and armed forces as chief guests over the years. Their speeches have always been a great source of inspiration for us all. We have for you now a glimpse of all the guests who have graced us with their presence over the years.
we would now like to invite our principal mrs sheela raghu to present the school's annual report a very good evening to our proud parents and grandparents our director mrs jyoti agarwal the smt members colleagues students and teachers welcome to the sanskarotsav founders day 2020 this is the school report from november 2019 to november 2020 today is a day of celebration It is a day when we acknowledge that it has been a challenging year for everyone across the world. There is no doubt about that. But what makes this year special is that we have stood up to these challenges that came our way in true Sanskarian style and forged new paths for our learning and teaching community. The Sanskarian way continues to strengthen the foundations of our students through our outstanding academic focus, strong roots in our culture, and most importantly, continuing with the happiness quotient that is the foundation of sanskar i look at the year gone by and applaud and appreciate the talents and diligence of our sanskarians we celebrate these students today and hope that there will be many more waiting in wings ready to soar our online lessons in march took off on a very confident note and what delighted us even further were the results that were declared in may of this year for ICSC ISC and IGCSC exams our ICSC school top at this time Shristi Dugal earned herself a very impressive 99% with 100% in Hindi history civics and geography and maths Atri Bhartia scored a 98.6% and Advait Jain and Nehal Raghuvanshi scored a 98% and all our outstanding performers are on the screen Ninety-three point five five percent. That is, one hundred and forty-five students secured an aggregate of eighty percent and above. Seventy point three two percent. That is, one hundred and nine of our students scored an individual aggregate of ninety percent and above. The highest aggregate was ninety-nine, and the lowest was seventy-one point eight. The ICSE aggregate of ninety point nine nine was a whole two percent higher than last year. A new record for us. Well done, Sanskarians. The subject averages were fantastic indeed with computer application students earning 97.27%. The other impressive averages are on the screen. 87 students were ICSE All India top scorers. Those who earned 100 out of 100 in their exams this year, with 25 of them earning that 100% in history, civics and geography. Now moving on to our even more impressive ISE results. for the 112 students from the March 2020 batch. We have joint toppers in Amrita Sandhu and Srinath Chobe with an impressive 98.25% as their aggregate. Amrita scored 100% in political science by Srinath who did himself in scoring 100% in physics. Close on their heels are Sahil Mehta and Rishika Katyal with a 98% average. and our other outstanding performers are on the screen 75.89 that is 85 students scored an aggregate of 80% and above while 44.64% that is 50 students scored an individual aggregate of 90% and above the highest isc aggregate was 98.25 and the lowest was 53.75 we maintained our annual aggregate from last year at an 86.11%. Subject averages were impressive with biology students garnering a 95% and the other fantastic averages are on the screen. Impressively there were 19 students who scored 100 out of 100 and became all India toppers and political science had 8 of them. Now for the third Cambridge batch of 28 students and their results. The top performers are Urujay Pradhan with 6 A stars and 3 A's. Rishabh Jain earning 6 A's. Ishan Jain earning 5 A stars and 4 A's and Ishana Jain earning 5 A stars and 3 A's. The other top performers are on the screen. In the batch of 28 students, 18 earned ICE distinction and 8 received ICE merit certificates. Please have a look at the top 12 students grades on the screen. 
celebrate these fantastic results, Commemoration Day 2020 Virtual Award Ceremony saw the school congratulate these students virtually for their outstanding achievements in the ICSE, ISC and ITCSE exams and award other students as well. Almost 500 certificates were sent via email to 211 students in various categories. Along with this, a congratulatory note from the principal and a video message from the head of Shikhar to the top students added to the pride that the school feels about Sanskarian achievements. Once again, I extend my heartiest congratulations to the students, teachers and parents of all these three board batches for having achieved these results and made themselves and us certainly proud. Given our affiliations, our talented athletes had many opportunities to participate in sports competitions at the district, divisional, state, national and international levels from just November 2019 to March 2020. In just those months, our medal tally has been an impressive 117. I am sure that the lockdown has not dampened the spirits of our dedicated sports students and that they will show their medal once the competitions are back in the stadiums schools and fields. The accolades earned at the state level in squash and in the IPSC national tournaments in mini golf and hook quando are on the screen. Sportacular 2019 was a fantastic crisp day with the parents and grandparents attendance as usual on an all-time high. The day was resplendent with formation presentations, mass yoga and pyramid demonstrations with the cheers resounding the turf over the individual races and the finale. Reliance Cup soccer tournament held in November 2019 saw our under-14 boys and under-17 boys teams come away as runners-up, a no-mean feat given the tough competition they had from the local schools. It is always exciting for the teachers and senior students to have alumni back on campus and last year was no different, especially when they challenged and won closely contested games in basketball and football. The lunch that followed was a great way for the teachers and ex-students to catch up. I would like to now talk about the unique festival that we held online, the Sanskar Virtual Fest. All the hours of planning, debating over the best and fairest means to conduct various events and judge them really paid off. The festival celebrated the talents of students through both sports and cultural events and resonated with the children across Sopan and Shikhar. In sports, Sopan hosted six events for 350 participants and Shikhar had four events with 165 participants. Aniket Das and Daivik Tiwari from Sopan were declared joint champions and Pari Kundwani was the champion for the girls. In Shikhar, Vishrut Mishra and Adhya Bharati came away as the sports champions. We at Sanskar Valley have made a name for ourselves as a school that replenishes Indian culture amongst our students through dedicated art and performing arts sessions with the support of a set of amazing teachers. We have just seen a glimpse of their work with our students earlier this evening. The names of our young and talented students, as young as grade two from Prangan and Supan, whose talents have shown at the international, national and state levels are on the screen. Leadership through Round Square saw our students participate in various national and international collaborative events in person and online. Our students showed their mettle by impressing the host schools with their detailed research and precise arguments to win accolades. Sarva Bharati exam saw 128 of our students participate in it this year, with 90 of our students earning first division and 50 of them earning distinctions. I would like to go back to last year's very successful presentation, Parvaska Agas, a monologue by Gulzar Saab based on the life of our ex-president Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, which was dramatized and danced upon to become a visual treat for Sanskar Utsav 2019. It was such a grand success that Gulzar Saab had wanted it showcased at the very famous National Center for Performing Arts Mumbai, and there were to be special showings of it in Jaipur, Indore and New Delhi. Although the lockdown did not allow for this to happen this year, we believe that this amazingly visualized presentation will certainly find its way nationally in the near future. All the talented art and performing arts students closely contested for the top honors in the co-curricular Sanskar Virtual Fest and judges had a tough time finding the winners. Sopan had 10 events and 300 participants and Shikhar had 7 events and 186 participants. Shivam Raghuvanshi of Shikhar was the overall cultural champion 
and Ishanya Jain, a sixth grader from Sopan, walked away with the honors. We were very encouraged by the time and effort taken by the parents to support their children in not just practicing for the various events, but also finding safe places for them to perform, to run or even cycle at very odd hours of morning and evening. It was very exciting to see the Sopan parents, of course, sportingly showcase their talents as well in our Jugal Pandis. In this ever-growing global world that has become our world, it has become imperative for our students to understand their abilities as team players and leaders with as much exposure to international events as possible. As with everything else this academic year, our students made passionate speeches online to be voted into office. Social media was a bus with the nominees making their pitch to the student body. Voting was also online and the afternoon of the 6th of November saw our new student council taking their oath in Kalanjari. Although masked and maintaining social distance, their enthusiasm and joy were not dampened. The head boy for Student Council 2020-21 is Kushagra Sharma. The head girl is Lavanya Srivastava. Deputy head boy is Ashman Singh. Deputy head girl is Mahek Chaudhary. Sports captain girls is Maitrey Rathor. Sports captain boys is Rithik Kumar. Cultural captain girls, Leher Tyagi, and cultural captain boys, Yashwardhan Singh. I wish them all the very best. The current student council formulated a student-led activity evolve, a set of sessions which had discussions on topics that the students could relate to or were made to think about online. Journaling and marketing content tips, entrepreneurial challenges and opportunities, tips on public speaking, what they don't teach you in school, upcycling household events to create art, opinions about starting and running your own student-led social initiative, and discussions on how films affect society and pop culture had great takeaways for our students. In order to prepare our grade 10 and 12 students for the next step in their future, Samkara, our career counseling cell, has hosted a plethora of events this past year. We ran a two-hour session for our current cohort, and 140 counselors attended online. The placement of our students at prestigious universities continues to be very successful. This year's batch has had offers from international universities in England, Australia, Canada, and USA, and many of the children have received scholarships as well. Within India, our students have gone to the best universities for engineering, the liberal arts, and sciences in the country, as seen from the list on the screen. Our alumni's career graph has seen the hallways of PWC USA, Lipcard, join the Merchant Navy, TCS, or become think tankers, or proudly take on teaching with the Teach for India program, just to name a few. While our affiliations have continued to be as strong as before, schools across the world have had to use technology much more than ever before since the lockdown. At the Sanskar Valley School, we've had a very smooth transition into online teaching. Having been a part of the Microsoft Aspire School program and being a Microsoft Showcase School since 2016, the teachers and students were able to take on technology like fish takes to water. Not just the regular classes, but celebrations on various days across the school, competitions and events have been successfully run since the lockdown. I'm very happy to share with you that we are now an authorized testing center for conducting Microsoft certificate examinations. All of you are aware that Microsoft Teams has become a part of our daily lives now. This would not have been possible without the strong support of Ms. Sonia Wadhava and all the ICT teachers and support team who've been with us every step of the way in making our foundations and technology stronger. Honestly, we have surprised ourselves with the various apps that we as teachers have mastered effortlessly. Aadhaar Online has had teachers dress up and play various characters and students have responded with delight. Shikhar, Sopan and Prangan students have learned yoga, answered quizzes and teachers have conducted class teacher sessions by using the mentor sessions to discuss any issues that they might be facing. The one-on-one -on -one remediation and the doubt clearing sessions outside of the timetable have certainly benefited many. Push-up skills in the various games and fitness have been very much a part of the sports sessions while guitaring, percussions and singing have been a big hit during the activity sessions. Our online presence has been so strong in highlighting the Microsoft tools that it has availed our teachers and selected students the opportunity to have an online conference with Microsoft Vice President, Mr. Antoni Salcito himself. 
junior confidant, which is Microsoft's Digital Literacy Championship, has seen national winners from Sanskar. The Jeshri Parival Global School Movie Fest 2020 saw two teams, one from grades 8 and 9 and the other from grades 9 and 11, win awards for the best edited movie and the best storyline, respectively. Two students received commendations for their project for Changemaker Challenge 2020, organized by Inventure Academy Bangalore. This year, we have 21 Microsoft Innovative Expert Teachers, and Ms. Sonia has earned a Microsoft Fellowship and is an MIE trainer. Our teachers and students have used their time judiciously and earned certificates during the lockdown from Adobe, Google, Microsoft, Wakelet, and Nearport, to name a few. We are very pleased and excited to inform you that the Sanskar Valley School has been ranked India's number four co-ed day come boarding school in the Education World India School Ranking 2021, making us number two school in Madhya Pradesh and number one in Bhopal. The ranking criteria, as you can see on the screen, certainly made sure that Education World was very detailed in checking every aspect and standard that makes a school as successful as we are. Another feather in our cap is that Adobe Education Leaders Award 2020 has felicitated our school for our contribution to excellence in adoption of creativity. Global Education Awards for Distinguished Performance in Academics was earned by us as well. Global Leader Institute England has certified us as a great place to study. International Dimensions in School Award by the British Council talks of our efforts in adding out-of-the-box ideas to all that we already do for our students. Service, as you all know, is an integral part of the Sanskar Valley School. The Sanskar Vidya Niketan girls have been specially taken care of by their dedicated teachers during this lockdown. These girls too have continued to receive lessons online and the teachers have been available to them to share any concerns or fears in these times. Like we say, Learning never stops at Sanskar. Read organizing a health checkup, making a visit to Asra and Old Age Home to donate rations, or cleaning their own school environment. All of these have one goal. We believe that we're sending children into the world with an understanding of their abilities, their strengths and areas of improvement, but most importantly, having empathy for the world outside. In all, even though students have not been on campus since March, there have been plenty of opportunities to keep them busy throughout the year. The students have surprised themselves as to how they have grown, achieved, and become young adults during these times. We hope that they continue to shine as our stars. We look forward to the boys coming back into boarding to enjoy the superbly renovated and upgraded shippage, for the girls to see all that is new in Prerna, for the Sopanians to enjoy a whole new third floor, and the LED screens in their classrooms. The new tensile covers in Sopan and Prangan courtyards are ready to shade the younger students. From the school's end, we have taken every possible precaution to bring the students back on campus safely. As a start, we are currently running the CAIE trial exams for the AS and A-level students, going even beyond the government and CAIE regulations to ensure safety, not just for the children, but also for everyone on campus. Finally, I would just like to say that we as responsible adults have to do our part in being aware and creating awareness of the simple steps we can take to stop the spread of infection and rise in numbers. Now, the valley is waiting patiently and silently for nature to find a way out of this pandemic. We all look forward to the day that we will hear the buses rolling in with the laughter of children and adults alike. Let us all work together to make that a reality. Thank you and have a good evening. Thank you, ma'am. As a school, we believe that co-curricular and sports activities are as important as academics for the holistic growth of a child and hence recognize efforts and achievements in all the spheres. While Commemoration Day Awards are given to the achievers in the ICSC, ISC, AS and A levels, the Founders Award Ceremony commemorates achievers for consistent academic excellence as well as achievements in sports, co-curricular and cultural activities. Our school provides many opportunities to each student to participate in all the activities the school has to offer. The awards are just a recognition of their participation, hard work, skills and a motivation to strive to excel in everything they do. 
we have for you now the founders award ceremony our first category of awards is consistent academic excellence this is awarded for scholastic excellence to students class 6 upwards scoring an annual aggregate of minimum 90% the award for consistent academic excellence in grade 6 goes to adya bhatnagar arav bhatija arush gupta arimand dat abhi dikshit adarsh yadav aditi shrivastav ansh goel anushka rathor athar singh agni bansal ayush taran darsh modi dhruv manshani dhruv tambe inya nirvikar ishan shrivastav and kanav modi kashvi singhal Kush Lalwani, Shitid Lanjewar, Lakshya Magnani, Mishti Sharma, and Pridima Harkavat. Namya Jain, Namami Sharma, Oshinika Pandey, Pari Kunwani, Parth Chha, and Piyush Shankar. Pranay Saxena, Priyal Kapoor, Priyanshi Jha, Raj Vardhan Sharma, Rehan Khan, and Pridima Sampath. Rishika Mamtani, Rishit Srivastav, Sahir Mi Sahib, Sayukta Singh, Satvik Arora and Sharanya Tiwari. Swasti Raghuvanshi, Sayyad Maz Nasir, Tanush Mishra, Tanvir Khan and Tejas Varshne. The award for consistent academic excellence for grade 7 goes to Arna Saxena. Aditya Narayan, Anandya Verma, Ananya Garg, Ashish Sisodia, Ayan Khan, Charvi Gupta, Chirag Arora, Darsh Suhane, Dev Vishkarma, Devansh Mishra and Devanshi Simaya. Dehra Aditya Shukla, Ishna Agarwal, Eva Sharma, Ishmit Vadva, Jay Asudani and Jyotir Jay Pradhan. Kanishka Krishna Simhal, Linesha Pradhan, Manya Chavla, Milena Emmanuel, and Noya Absar. Ojaswini Chaturvedi, Pehel Alia, Prakar Chauhan, Ridhima Goya, Shreya Mittal, and Siddhant Agarwal. Sia Sharma and Utkarsh Meholia. The award for consistent academic excellence for grade 8 goes to Ananya Singh, Anika Khera, Aradhya Kukreti, Arnav Jain, Aryan Chug, Ayan Faruqi, Dewi Srivastav, Dia Juneja, Garvita Saxena, Kovit Srivastav, Munib Zuberi and Nikita Idnani. Raghav Saxena, Rohan Jain, Tanmay Kaul Tanya Mirchandani and Utsav Meholia The award for consistent academic excellence in grade 9 goes to Aditya Darbari, Ananya Singh, Anushka Chore, Anushka Jain, Rishita Jain, Udisha Bhatt, Vidushi Agarwal and Yashika Manshani The award for consistent academic excellence in grade 11 goes to Oh Marva The school color for sport is awarded to two boys and two girls each from Sopan and Shikhar in individual sports and two boys and two girls each in Sopan and Shikhar in team games in different sport categories for participation outstanding performance skill and achievement at the state and national level The sports color for athletics goes to Ananya Pandey and Sankalp Vadwani. The sports color for badminton goes to Tejas Varshne, Sara Verma, Tane Parivar and Kathy Garg. The school color for squash goes to Anjanya Singh Rathor, Advita Singh, Anand Singh Bias, Gunjan Taran. The school color for skating goes to Jannatpreet Kaur, Srinivas Menon, Vishrut Mishra and Yashika Manshani. 
The school color for Taekwondo goes to Hamza Hussain, Ashita Bhinte, Gitansha Chadda, and Soham Manwani. The school color for Hoop Kondo goes to Nitya Manglani, Yashovardhan Singh, Ananya Singh. The school color for gymnastic goes to Purnima Goyal, Soham Purswani, Anchika Agarwal, and Aryanshi Shukla. The school color for swimming goes to Navya Singh, Siddharth Kak, Divija Singh Kushwaha, and Ishita Parihar. The school color for soccer goes to Aratrika Maurya, Anushka Agarwal, Aryan Raj Singh, Soham Chhabra, Samiksha Maheshwari, Kush R. Gangwani, Prithik Kumar, and Roshni Narvarya. The school color for cricket goes to Mridul Khan Pathak, Aditya Raj Singh Tomar, Arbab Rahman Khan, and Prarabh Mishra. The school color for basketball goes to Ramakan Raghuvanshi, Inika Modi, Raghav Gupta, Rashi Yadav, Utkarsh Upadhyay, Anisha Agarwal, Maitre Rathor, and Shivam Raghuvanshi. Let us now award the overall sports champions. Yes, the sportsman and the sportswoman of the year. Sportsman of the Year and the Sportswoman of the Year is awarded to one boy and girl on the basis of outstanding performance, skill and achievement in various sporting events and competitions held at district, divisional, state or national level in at least two or more sport. The award for the Sportswoman of the Year goes to Gorangana Nova. The award for the Sportsman of the Year goes to Kuldeep Lodi. The school color for arts and performing arts. These awards are conferred upon two most outstanding achievers, each from Sopan and Shikhar, for his or her performance throughout the year and representation in events or competitions conducted by school and external organizations in each category. Cool color for vocal music goes to Jay Asutani, Ashita Bhimte, Mitali Gupta, and Rahil Sanjeev. Cool color for instrumental music goes to Dev Vishwakarma, Rohan Jain, Anshuman Sabar, and Arnav Shukla, all for keyboard. The school color for instrumental music in percussion goes to Arush Manyala, Sakar Srivastav, Shorya Babra, and Sujal Garg. The school color for instrumental music in guitar goes to Arnav Jain, Pranav Kumar, Bhavya Subramani, and Prithul Prasad. The school color for dance goes to Gitya Gupta, Milena Emmanuel, Oli Mukherjee, and Yashika Manshani. The school color for drama goes to Abhinav Sirasao, Kandar Pare, Part Sinhal, and Tilak Sharma. The school color for art and craft goes to Mishti Girdhani, Advaita Singh, Anushka Agarwal, and Sanya Jain. The school color for public speaking is awarded to one student, each from Sopan and Shikhar, for showing exceptional skill, talent and achievement in articulation and public speaking competitions in English and Hindi hosted throughout the year. The school color for public speaking goes to Yadi Jain of class 7 and Kushagra Sharma of class 11. The school color for community service is awarded to a student for exemplary social work rendered in an organization either patronized by the school or carried out independently with credible achievements. The school color for community service goes to Onisha Murad. The school color for environment awareness is awarded to a student for exemplary work in the field of environment conservation and towards creating awareness for the same in school and the community. The school color 
for environmental awareness goes to Raj Nandini Singh. The school colour for MUN delegate is awarded to one student from Shikhar for showing exceptional skill, talent and articulation in the MUN conferences throughout the year. The school colour for MUN goes to Sanidhya Raghuvanshi. The school colour for ICT is awarded to two students each in Sopan and Shikhar for achievements in ICT on the basis of performance and participation in events and competitions throughout the year. The school colour for ICT goes to Ishmeet Vadva, Samarth Raghuvanshi, Oja Tiwari, and Sanidhya Raghuvanshi. The next category is for students of the boarding houses. These awards are awarded to one boy and one girl each from Sopan and Shikhar from the boarding houses for outstanding all-round achievement in academic, co-curricular and sports throughout the year. The award for the most promising pupil of the girls' boarding goes to Dia Janeja. The award for the most promising pupil of the boys' boarding goes to Ansh Singh. And the award for the star pupil of girls' boarding goes to none other than Bhumika Agarwal. The award for the star pupil of boys' boarding goes to Vedan Jain. It is now time to award the students who excel in all spheres – academic, cultural, literary and sports. We now bring to you the General Proficiency Awards. These awards are awarded to two students from each class, accruing a minimum of 84.5% in the annual aggregate in academics with exemplary representation in sports, cultural, literary and co-curricular activities and competitions at various events at defined levels. And now, it's time to announce the General Proficiency Awards. The General Proficiency Award for Grade 6 goes to Mishti Sharma. For Grade 7, the winners are Milena Emanuel and Manya Chavla. For Grade 8, the award goes to Garvita Saxena and Nikita Ignani. In Grade 9, the winners are Ananya Singh and Yashika Manshani. For Grade 10, the winners are Arzu Singh and Yashwardhan Singh. In Grade 11, the General Proficiency Award goes to Ananya Dikshit and Utkarsh Agarwal. Moving over to the House Trophy. To inspire a healthy sense of competition, the students are divided into four houses Pragyan, Praveer, Satya, and Udyam. Participating in various inter house events and winning accolades brings the houses honor and gives the students a sense of pride. We now have for you the House Trophy of the Year. The running trophy is awarded annually to a house on the basis of maximum points accrued by students of classes 6 to 12 of a particular house in the activities and competitions both internal and external conducted throughout the year in different fields. The house trophy for the year 2019-20 goes to Udyam House. With this, we come to an end of our award ceremony. Congratulations to all the awardees. The award ceremony was not in Umang this year, but we are sure the excitement was even more, as most of you did not know the results today. Winning is fun, sure, but winning is not the point. Wanting to win is the point. Never giving up is the point. 
Never being satisfied with what you have done is the point. And that is what Sanskar is all about. We as a school believe in and encourage innovation, change and growth. The exhibition for Founders Day is a portrayal of all the activities the students are involved in through the years. The art displays reflecting a variety of theme and color, the taekwondo and gymnastic presentation displaying endurance and strength, and of course, the vibrant folk dances. There was so much to showcase that it was difficult to decide what to show and what to leave out. We present to you now glimpses from the years gone by. As we celebrate our Founders Award ceremony today, we cannot help but remember all the cultural performances that have been the life and soul of Founders each year. From the stunningly orchestrated harmonies, graceful dance performances and the absorbing dramas, it is truly a treat for the eyes, even today and something that we're really proud of and treasure the moments of, both in front of the camera and behind the camera. We have for you now a glimpse of all the cultural events from 2006 till date.
evening everyone. I am Ashwan Singh, the deputy head boy. And I am Mehak Chaudhary, the deputy head girl. We hope you enjoy today's show. Founders for us has been and is all about the students. Those on stage, in the exhibitions, working behind the scenes. Each and every student of Sopan and Shikhar is a part of the celebration in one way or the other. We could not celebrate this day in school today. Nevertheless, we have tried our best to make this Founders Award ceremony today a special one. Though you are on the other side of the screen, our words did not echo from the podium in Umang, and we could not see the smiles on each other's faces. Our hearts were all connected. Well, they say all good things come to an end, but this is not true. At least for us, as our Founders Cultural Week is commencing tomorrow with a variety of performances, a veritable treat in store for you all. Though it was difficult to decide from all the presentations, we have pulled out a few. from our treasure chest and invite you to join us every day from the 6th to 11th of December at 7 in the evening we especially extend an invitation to our seniors our alumni who have made founders what it is today and have set a benchmark for many many years to come but before we close for the day we would like to thank our director mrs jyoti agarwal our principal mrs sheila ragu for giving us this wonderful opportunity the senior management team for helping us throughout the teachers and the students for always supporting us and the IT department for making this event a success we are looking forward to connecting with you again tomorrow at 7 pm for the first presentation of the week parvas ka aagaz a play that brought in accolades from far and wide till then good night and take care